It's royal treatment, and our guest deserves it because she's Sarah, Duchess of York. Now divorced from the royal family's Prince Andrew and the single mother of two, she's lived a public life that's produced some sizzling headlines, all the while battling weight gains that led to her being ridiculed as the Duchess of Pork. But today, she's triumphed in her battle of the bulge. She's now a Weight Watcher spokeswoman and author, and she's helping others to lose weight. If you're brave enough to walk in the door and face the fact that you have a weight problem, then let's do it together. So join me at the corner table with Fergie, a woman with a well-known taste for mayonnaise and sausage rolls, who stated that losing weight was one of the greatest challenges of her life. Let's dine with the Duchess and see how she did it. And Sarah, Duchess of York, welcome to the chef's table here at the Television Food Network for our corner table. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, it's great, though. And uh, it's a little sort of I wish, you, I wish you the very best. You look okay. wonderful. Thank you very much, You're Phil. feeling well? I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling fine with this Weight Watchers something. It seems to be working. What's our yeah. first course? Our first course? Yes. Mushroom and caraway soup, okay, which I just prepared earlier. Hmm? Not. You not. know, I feel like I, I know you. I mean, we just met like, what, 20 minutes ago, but mm. I've been, you know, the book, I read your book and the movie about you and everything. Oh, really? You're a woman who has, you've had a very full life. I've done a few things. <laughs> you sure have. I, they sort of say, I think if I died tomorrow, that they could stop, they, someone would sit up in the pulpit and say, this woman at least lived eight, eight lives in one. A, and a very full life. Mm. And all the challenges you've, met the adversity that you've come back from, you really say that one of the greatest challenges of your life was losing weight. Is still. Is still. Is still. Are you still trying to lose or you Absolutely. mean maintaining? No, no, lose. How, how much I'm more? Never. Where are you going? Oh, you want to disappear? Cold. It's clever dressing. It's called clever dressing. <laughs> <laughs> well, and what are we covering? Well, uh, exactly. Yuck. Yes. We still travel with these few saddlebags with us. Oh. <laughs> But I mean, it, it's good, but it, I think it's controlling your, controlling your mind. Free your mind and your body will follow. That's something like that. How about that? Free your mind and your body and your will weight follow. will follow. Exactly. Your weight will fall off, hopefully. Fall off? Yes. In sort of, well, in my I just case, heard so. You know, exactly. I didn't get lunch today. I, know, I didn't. You're right. <laughs> but I think that, that um, a lot of my problem was comfort eating, and it was a, a problem with that my mind was so stressed up, you know. And to this day... I really have to be careful because the minute I get a hint of emotional stress or any form of stress, nose in the in the bin. And you're not reaching for something like Bread this. Bin. This, you yeah, know, what you reach for are okay. sausage rolls. Yeah. Oh, you read the book. Mayonnaise. Yes, oh, I have read the book. Yeah. Sausage rolls, mayonnaise. That's your kind of comfort Absolutely. food. Absolutely delicious. Mayonnaise with everything. In fact, if you could get me some cold meat and mayonnaise now, I'd be so happy, you know, because it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we no, are in the actually, kitchen of the okay. Television Food Network. Do we have any cold meat and mayonnaise in the refrigerators here? I don't think it's on our... On, I don't on think our, it's on our Weight Watchers. To, really. No luck. So we stayed with the soup, but no slurping a while. You, you will tell me if I'm dribbling, won't you, Bill? Will you do the same for yeah, me? Yeah, I will. Yeah, you're not. Good. Yeah. Am I? Because I was wondering, because my napkin fell on the floor. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll be allowed to so reach I may need, so. okay. may, I may need you yours. You borrow mine. Yeah. You know, American okay. table manners being what they are. Oh, indeed. Now, i got to ask you that. Okay, Bill. Go. The difference between British table manners and American table manners must mm -hmm. be substantial. You must see things happening in the United States that you don't see happening in England. One or two things. Well, yeah, one or what two would things. they be? Well, we don't put so much ice in our water for a start. Hey, man, really, I, I don't, don't like that ice. I don't like it. And it's, it makes the water too cold, and then you get a pain in your head. Yes. And it's, and it's like a hangover without drinking. Totally. Who wants that? Who wants that? Right. And then, you know what, something, Bill? Why do you Americans go, hi, how are you? And, they, and you're saying, well, actually, I'm not feeling very well, and the person's gone, oh, yeah, long gone. Well, you know what I call that? What? Cocktail party eyes. Oh, right. Like when you're talking to somebody and they're already yes, glazing over is. us, and they're looking over your shoulder. Oh. Who else can I talk oh. to like that? It's really amazing. And often I go, um, well, actually, you know, I've had a long day, and they're not even, they're gone, they're finished, completely well, exhausted. I am listening to you. Are you? I am, okay. I am, I am riveted good. to what you're saying. Very good. I want to ask to get back to what we were talking about. Do we have about? another mouthful of this? Yeah, it's okay. good. And you have that while I ask. Okay. The reason I want to ask this is that you're right when you say that losing weight is one of the most difficult challenges that a person can face. And I think as a public person, I mean, we have seen you hauled through the media. We've seen people make fun of you. They started out, you were fun, Fergie. They ended up, excuse it, mm. you know what I'm going to say, yeah. the Duchess of, of Pork. Mm. Your life right now, and the fact you've got your weight under control, is, is a really valid thing to help people. What was the, the worst for you? 
Well, for you. well what, what it's for me was that I, I just realized, I suppose when I was 13 and mum went to Argentina, I became a compulsive eater, right? Your so mother literally moved, you had to drive, Argentina. fly to Argentina and drive 300 miles to visit her. Are you really, know your stuff, Bill. Well, I was a taxi driver on that trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little older than you. Yeah. No, but that, seriously. Yeah, and uh, so, so, so it was, uh, you know, I had to come to terms with the fact that I, in, in, with all my girlfriends walking around like stick insects, you know, and spaghettis, as I used to call them, you know, just straight down. And there I was, you know, with all, everyone calling me humps. They used to call me humps. The tabloids go after overweight well stars, and Fergie spent years enduring that yeah. teasing. What's it feel like to be that person and to see on every newsstand awful pictures of yourself? Well, now... It's got much easier because I'm you, so you look used good. to it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm used to it. I'm <laughs> but used in to the beginning, it. what but was in the that like? It just completely killed me. It completely killed me, Bill. I really thought that everyone had believed that I'd done all this horrible stuff that I'm meant to have done, and everyone believed that I was this sort of out of control, fat, frivolous Fergie. The the F of Fergie went rather well with the front pages. There's a lot you can do with it. Fun-loving, frolicking, frivolous. And that's stopping there. Yeah, stopping let's there. stop yeah. there. No stop more. There. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, no more. No more. Ha! So, <laughs> did you ever cry when you read that stuff? Oh, cry. Yeah. Miserable. Miserable. I cried every night. Really? And yes. today, and Fergie clearly sees the link between an out-of-control life and life overeating. I was probably at the time when I was overeating, I was out of control. Maybe I was... Um, my bank overdraft was getting larger and larger. I mean, the whole thing was getting into a spiral of unhappiness. And the only way I could sort of feel that I could fill that hole and void was to eat. And so once you st stop and say, no, I'm going to do something about this, I'm going to work out, I'm going to get fit, and I'm going to control my weight, then suddenly you're... the bank overdraft gets better and the business gets better. And you seem to be taking every compartment of your life in, 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 in under control. With sesame chicken salad with ginger dressing, a recipe from the Duchess's new book. You have okay. an interesting situation. When you were living in Buckingham House mm -hmm. with Andrew and the children, you never had a kitchen. No. How can you have a family and not have a kitchen? What if you want to come down in the middle of the night and make yourself some bangers and mash? Tough. Can't I'll do it? No way. How could you survive without a kitchen? What was that like? Well, I didn't really know. I just got on with the job. It was very difficult. I mean, because when the food did come from the kitchen, it was about two and a half miles away. So it was, um, the food was a little cold. And as a there. student, you, you write that you essentially ate beans and things like that. So you, you've really never been much of a, to use the expression, cook. Mm. Bill, can I just correct you there? I do not cook. <laughs> <laughs> never? Never. Never, okay? But, how do you do that? I eat it. I love yep. to eat. I know what's good. I know what tastes good. Now, getting back to what you were saying before, you think your weight problem began mm -hmm. when your mother moved to Argentina when you're uh, 12, 13 years old. Mm -hmm. Now, you have two lovely daughters. Thank you. The light of your life. Your sons, when they grow up, they might be able to take them out. Of you know something? There's a match there. Isn't there ever? There's a match. I'm going to... What's you know, your son called? Trevor Boggs. Trevor Boggs. There There's a go. match there. I'm going to take you up on that in 10 or 15 years. I'm going to come walking up and say, remember me, the guy from the Food Network? <laughs> Here he is. And you'll Here's take Trevor. one look at him and say, Trev, let you and I go to dinner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. with your two lovely daughters, mm -hmm. Beatrice and Eugenie, how are you educating them about eating? What are you giving them that maybe you didn't get, you know, after your mother left for Argentina? I think um, I'm, I'm listening to them. You know, mum was away in Argentina. It was very no. difficult for her to understand. And... And there's Beatrice and Eugenie. If, if Beatrice and Eugenie come up to me and say, Mum, you know, we really don't feel comfortable. You know, the swimsuit's too tight. No, 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 something like that. I won't say, oh, well, go away, you're too young to worry about it. I'll say, OK, let's do something about it. Perhaps if we have more water here, less, you know, fizzy drinks. You know, perhaps we'll eat chicken today and not have the potato crisps. Right. It's not a question of, a lot of people say to me, but you can't put a daughter on a diet. We're not putting her on a diet. But we're just simply saying, why don't we take you seriously? And why don't I respect you? But does Fergie think that her weight control work is supporting the message that only thin is in? No, I don't think that at all, because we're not actually talking about thin, are we, really? In my case, we're not talking about thin, but... Will we ever be talking about thin in your case? Oh, no, no, no. But I mean, I just think... Medium, medium. But I think in... I think thin... Actually, people always say to me, never too thin or too rich. I actually agree with them, don't you? 
I'll take a little more of each. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got the impression that, 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 that certainly from reading your book, uh, that, that separation during your marriage, when, when Prince Andrew was away and you were pregnant, you said that at that point you went up to 200 pounds, mm. you know. What do you say to somebody watching right now who is really reaching for food as an emotional companion? Mm -hmm. Can I finish this? You certainly can. Mm -hmm. You can keep talking for a bit. So what, what to do is, while she's finishing that bite, <laughs> just put your hand down for one second, you know. Stay away from the Twinkies for one moment, and Twinkies. we'll get it in. What are Twinkies? What are Twinkies? Mm. Oh, oh we. No. When I come with Trevor, we're going to have a case of Twinkies for Race you and the twin. girls. Mm -hmm. Twinkies are an American fast food product that is right. a cake mm -hmm. that has cream inside. Mm -hmm. They're really not too We have some here? Oh, hand over the Twinkies. <laughs> Here, um, just the whole box. Now, I don't want to sub I do I don't want to suggest that, you know, you go off the one, well, two, three no, plan. We'll check we'll check the fiber and the diet content, so we might be able to have one if we haven't been I don't too know bad if they today. have fiber. Mm. What? What is the thing? Uh dietary fiber zero. Zero fiber? Yeah. Protein one. One protein. Total carbohydrate twenty five. Oh. Bulking up. <laughs> what else? Sodium 200. 200? Yeah. Oh, I can see the water retention first Absolutely. thing in the can't morning. You, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. There's well, I, wanted, I have to show you one. You can't take it this okay. far. Sorry. Look how handsomely they're wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> they're really nice. Ah. And this is one of those things. Now, this is the thing. It's, this is one of those. You've got to go with this. This is like a photo opportunity. It can only be opened with your teeth. All right, okay. The only way that you can open a twinkie. Smudge my lips. Too. No, I, that's why I did okay. it for you. Oh, now. Fine. Thank you. All right. Yeah. It's a kitchen. Yeah, it's a kitchen. And there you see in the twinkie are the three little portholes of twinkies. Cream. Wow. <laughs> that is a calorie grenade. So we just yeah. put this aside, right? Yes, on our little plates. Are because we allowed to artistically move our room? You certain now one one part of the twinkie oh. for you. You just put mine in my butter. No, um, yeah. yeah. One part of the Twinkie for, for me. For me. Okay. So we'll, maybe that is our treat. Yeah. Yeah. What we, were we talking about Twinkies? Who remembers? Oh, I know what, what were we Twinkies. talking about? Oh, I, but, Go ahead. Yeah. So when they're putting on the Twinkies, I hadn't finished my mouthful. But actually, That's right. one of the things I would say is that, firstly, um, all about all about life, I think, is taking today. You know, don't think about in a month's time, oh my gosh, I've got 20 pounds to lose. You can't, because you'll get all confused. It's yeah. too much. If you lose a pound a week, great. If you don't, great. You know, just take things very slowly and start understanding that maybe you would feel better in yourself if you took control of the fact that maybe you might have a weight problem. You know, look in the mirror and really look at yourself. But don't be harsh. I mean, I, have, I, I say this, but I am the most worst judge of myself. I am so harsh and so tough on myself. Me too. I really am. Me Are you? too, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't you think even when you're at, I mean, I don't know if you weigh yourself a lot or you just go by your clothing, but even when you're at your best, you still think you've got that little fat person yeah. inside you. Yeah, you have. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's so annoying. It is. Isn't it annoying? When you really, are, when you, you really look good, but you know you're fat. I want my little fat person mm -hmm. to run off with your little fat person. Okay. Get rid of these two. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, bye. We maybe just say goodbye. Duchess, here at the corner table today, at the chef's table in the Food Network, it's time for dessert. Mm -hmm. We have had a baked apple with uh, walnuts on it. Mm-hmm. A little brown sugar. A little brown sugar. And we have a Twinkie. Which would you like to try first? Um, Can I, I bagel you into a biting the Twinkie? Uh, Phil, I, I might have to just go for the apple. How about that? How is your Twinkie? The same as it was 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> the product hasn't changed. Let's have a baked apple. Okay. What if, oh, right. if you could have one quick fantasy meal, you know, going off for a second, what would, okay. what would your fantasy meal be? Right. Fantasy meal, just anything I could have right now. Anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. To start with, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'd have um, delicious linguine pasta with um, fresh bell pomodoro tomatoes, little well, you know, tiny. I'll, I'll have an order of that myself. Yeah, 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 entree? Yeah, yeah, what would yeah. the entree? Well, no, I haven't finished with okay. my sauce. Balsamic <laughs> and, and, and really tasty. You know? mm -hmm. well, I'd probably throw a bit of cream in there just to add Touch. a bit of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the, I would have, oh my gosh, a steak. A delicious, large, mouthful Sizzling. steak. Sizzling steak with freshly cooked chips. You know, real potatoes. Cooked, As yeah? They're only made in Really it, crispy. Yeah. With tomato ketchup chutney and mayonnaise all mushed together here, mm. right? Sounds good. Then, 
Oh. Ah. <laughs> and then after that, I'd probably have and the baked potato on the side with yeah. lots of butter, salty butter in it. Okay. Salty yep. butter. And then after that, I would probably have um, oh cheese souffle. Yeah, as a savoury dessert, yeah. right? With mustard on the side. You are an appetite of woman. That's a good thing. I like that in a person. And a you have an appetite for life. Mm. You do. I love life. Whether it's nature or, I mean, you're not, you're not a big one to go out, you know, swimming for three hours. But you, no. you, but, but you want to be in nature and eating and... Yes. I, I love life. Yeah. I have... Thank you, Bill, for saying that. Because I really put everything into everything I do. I think that the best is yet to come. Really? Totally. Yeah. That's very nice of you to say that. I feel I've it. had a lovely meal. I feel it. I I've feel had it. a lovely meal here. Now, a couple of things. One or two last things I want to ask okay. you. Okay, what was the dinner table like when you were together with your family when you were a little girl on a typical night? Was it very formal? I mean, I think we always picture British aristocracy as everyone sitting ramrod straight, perfect manners, you know, organized conversation. What was a typical mm. dinner like for you? Well, man? my father, um, being army, was insisted on very strict manners. He really did. Strict manners. Yeah, absolutely. And you had to be on time. If you missed, a, um, if you did miss the train, he would leave the station because you, you should learn how to be punctual. Right. And so at mealtime, you know, you really had to make sure you ate everything on your plate. And he used to make us eat Brussels sprouts. If you didn't want to eat sprouts, you know, you had to eat them. Militant. Yeah, very. And very. How, about with, how about with the family with Prince Andrew? What was the meal time, meals like there? Was it also equally formal? Well, I think slightly more formal. More? <laughs> yes, yes. Much more. You're talking about the boss, you know. Her Majesty. It was that <coughs> formal. Absolutely. Mm. It was that formal. And, and very conversation, you know, both ways, left and right. Start with the right or start with the left, depending on which way Her Majesty went. Mm -hmm. And then you'd have to work out exactly what was going on and, you know, and three, really course, three course meals. And but just with you and Andrew and the kids, would it, would it ever, would, you know, did you ever, like, just put your feet up and have a pizza? Well, now if you're talking about Andrew and I and the children. Yes, that's what I meant. Oh, well, okay. That's, that's different, okay? Because my children have table manners A, B, and C. And table manners A. <laughs> it's good, I like this. It's good, isn't it? Table manners A is when we go to tea with Granny. Right? A. Oh, yeah, A. Big time A. Granny being? The boss. The boss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The queen. And then um, table manners B is when we go to a restaurant and they have to know they're in public and they must behave. Not too much, but. No food you know, fights. No food fights. And table manners C is <laughs> with mom. Pizza on the chin oh, is okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything goes. Mm. And that's cool. And they can really unwind and. You know, spaghetti coming out of their nose, things like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, usual thing. I never thing. liked that sensation myself. <laughs> if, uh, if we could come back here... Today. You know, in 10 years, okay. a decade, a decade of our lives has gone by, mm -hmm. and we remember we had this pleasant time together at the corner table here. What would you like to be able to say about the 10 years that passed if we come back here? I'd like to see the tape and say I look younger in 10 years than I do now. <laughs> I'd like to say that I was probably thinner and Weight Watchers has done a, a very good job. <coughs> Excuse me. Had done a very good job in that 10 right. years. Um, I'd like to say that I had been an excellent mother and had brought my two girls up to really understand the values of life and that they had peace and love in their hearts and that they gave that and kindness. And if I've, um, if I've achieved two great 20-year-olds with kind hearts and full of love, then I've done well. Amen. Mm -hmm. I wish you that, for Thank sure. You. I'd like to close each of our shows with a toast to our uh, Food Network viewers, and okay. it's up to you to say to them whatever you want. There they are. A, um, a toast, a blessing. I would just like to say that, that may they follow that, and may they try and keep um, today as a special day, and every day is a special day, and, and uh, to keep the courage of the heart, because uh, the most important thing, I think, is to live in courage of truth and truth in your heart and follow that, and as best you can. Good Sarah, you. Duchess of York, I will drink to that. Thank you very Thank much you very for being much, our Bill. wonderful corner table guest. Man, really it was, enjoyed it. It was a pleasure. So did I.